Welcome to the Shores region of the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. This area is a great place to visit year round, no matter the weather, because there are always animals to see. Today we'll explore different aquatic, coastal, and terrestrial ecosystems, compare their unique features, and discover the special ways that different animals thrive in these environments. Our first stop is Discovery Reef, a habitat that will immerse you in an underwater world. This ecosystem represents the Indian Ocean and supports a diverse array of marine life. All animals need oxygen to survive, and these animals get that oxygen from the water that surrounds them. Coral and anemones may look like plants, but they're animals. They absorb oxygen from water and depend on ocean currents to bring a fresh supply. Some also partner with algae which provides oxygen and nutrients in exchange for shelter. A great example of mutualism, where both species benefit. Coral builds colony is made of tiny polyps, forming massive reefs for marine life. Sadly, these vital ecosystems face threats from climate change, pollution, and human impact. What do you think are the biggest challenges coral reefs face, and how might we help protect them? Discovery Reef showcases a coral reef habitat filled with a variety of fish. Like coral and anemones, fish take in oxygen from the surrounding water, but they do this through organs called gills that are located on each side of their head. Did you know that sharks, rays, and even seahorses are all fish? The key difference is their skeletons. Most fish, like seahorses, have skeletons made of hard bone, while sharks and rays have flexible cartilage skeletons, the same soft material in your ears and nose. Next up in our journey is the Manatee Rescue and Rehabilitation Center. The star of the sea here is the Florida manatee. Like the fish in Discovery Reef, manatees call the water home. But manatees are mammals, meaning they have a backbone, grow hair, and most importantly, breathe air. They are different from most mammals because they spend their entire lives in water. This makes them marine mammals. They come up to the surface every couple of minutes to breathe air. Manatees rely on warm, shallow waters with lots of seagrass to survive. They constantly graze, which has earned them the nickname sea cow. When water temperatures drop below 68 degrees Fahrenheit, they can experience cold stress, which weakens their immune system and slows digestion. The Columbus Zoo helps by rehabilitating rescued manatees, preparing them for a successful return to their home waters by providing a safe place for them to grow and gain weight. If you look above the surface, you might spot the brown pelican. These large birds have big bills and big personalities. Brown pelicans live on the shorelines, making both land and water their home. They are expert fishers, using their long beaks and large guller pouches to catch food. Back below the surface, you'll find the hawksbill sea turtle. These turtles are marine reptiles, and just like marine mammals, they must come to the surface to breathe air. While you're looking below the surface, keep your eyes peeled for stingrays and fish too. Animals of coastal environments are found all over the shores region. Humboldt penguins, unlike their Antarctic relatives, thrive in warmer climates off the rocky coasts of Chile and Peru. These birds come ashore to rest, breed, and raise their young. 
In the water, the Humboldt penguin's main goal is to find food and avoid predators. Penguins use countershading as camouflage, which might seem odd for a black and white bird in the deep blue ocean. However, if a predator is swimming below them, their white bellies allow them to blend into the bright sunlight at the surface. And if a predator is above them, their black feathered backs allow them to blend into the dark shadows of the deep ocean. Finally, in the reptile building, you'll find species from all over the world. Some of these animals, such as freshwater turtles and caimans, are semi-terrestrial and live both on land and in water. Others, like desert tortoises and rattlesnakes, are completely terrestrial meaning they live only on land. Some have even adapted to live in the driest places on Earth, surviving with very little water. There are even a few amphibians, like salamanders and frogs, who breathe through their skin and depend on water for their life cycle. While these animals represent vastly different habitats and ecosystems, they're all interconnected by their need for water. Can you think of any other ways that water plays a role in the survival of different reptiles and amphibians? While today's habitats differed, they're all interconnected. These animals rely on water. By protecting these ecosystems, we help the incredible species that call them home. Next time you visit the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, be sure to take a closer look at how animals interact with their environments. Small actions like reducing plastic waste Conserving water and supporting habitat protection can make a big difference for wildlife. By working together, we can help keep these ecosystems healthy for future generations of animals and people.